Hey guys, um, just got back from Pet Quest from this weekend, kind of came to work and wanted to unpack my stuff because I work tomorrow. So, um, hanging out my day off and a lot of y'all came to say hi at Pet Quest and came to the loyalty booth and that was awesome. So, um, I wanted to get on because you all have been asking some questions or you were asking questions at the show. Um, and I explained it the best I could, but I thought it'd be just easier if I simply showed you. So a lot of you all purchased this really awesome hammock from Loyalty Pet Products to make your jobs easier, and it does. And I just wanted to show you all how to use it when you only have one bar, because it is made for a table that has two bars or that has the overhead bar, really. Um, but as you can see, I have one bar and I use it every day with no problem. I just don't exceed the weight limit or come close to it. The weight limit for the hammocks is 35 pounds. So when I only have my one bar, I really don't go close to the 35 pound weight limit just for the sake of how much weight the bar can hold. So I'm gonna use my child to um, demo the hammock. She's not happy about it because she's a perfect angel. So she doesn't need this, but um, I've got it laid out right now. The headrest is up here where her head is, so that's where her front feet will go. And you just kind of line it up in these holes. And then her back legs will go into these back holes. I've already got the hooks attached to the one side over here, so I just makes your job easier, especially if you're fighting with them, um, to attach the other side to the rear end. So there's your rear and then um, these just go this way to attach the front. Make sure their legs are through. So once you do that, you should have your dog inside the hammock. Um, and I literally just attach the one that's near their head to my pole, and then I attach the one that holds their rear to the hook that was holding the head up. So it's kind of like a, it's hard to see, but I'm by myself. Like this maneuver, um, I'll get an up close picture for you all. But I attach the one that holds the head first, and then the one that's holding the rear is just gonna attach straight to the first hook itself. Um, so you can see that does put her at a little bit of an angle, but that's the easiest way if you have one bar. And of course they have the built-in safety measures so you can strap them in if you've got one real wiggly. Um, and your headrest, if you really need it, you can strap this around. She would kill me if I did that, so. 